Art in the Bible by Francis A. Schaeffer. Overview. Jesus Christ is Lord of all, including our art. Schaefer makes the scriptural case for this, and then the Christian cultural one. Review. If you're used to only reading Schaefer for his apologetics, you are missing out on one of his biggest contributions to Christendom, the encouragement for Christians to make Jesus Christ Lord of all, and that also includes in the culture and then the arts. During Schaefer's day, he was the one answering any question thrown at Christianity. He was going to the youth and the college students, and they were coming to him. He was an adopter of the indie documentaries like How Should We Then Live? He would have fit right at home in an online video space. And this book is a prime example of Schaefer's writing succinctly and proficiently. After stating his premise, the Christians are to be great artists for the glory of God. Schaefer splits the book into two parts to make his case. The first part is a look back into the scriptures to show all the ways art has played a part in the carrying out of God's plan of salvation. It's easy to say that he stays here a bit too long, but not to draw on the examples he gives would do a disservice to the purpose of the whole book and premise. Schaefer points to God being a creator and us being his image bearers. We can engage in non-idol making art. Art that is not just paintings, but architecture, jewelry, painting, etc. are given. A stellar point of how even the Song of Solomon points Christians to being good romantics and engaging in good sex should not be undersold. All points are reflections back to the main source of our creator. The second part of the book is what most of us are used to today, the call to action. Schaefer has grounded his call in scripture, and so the motivation in how should we now live becomes one of inspiration and details. Schaefer doesn't only talk about being good artists, but also being good intakers of art. Things like technical abilities should be displayed, and those same abilities should be appreciated for it. Of course, Schaefer has to talk about worldview being reflected in the art. Amazing points all around for those who read Schaefer for his presuppositional apologetics. Other points worth highlighting is that not all good Christian art has to be religious art. The art can still be Christian art without putting a baby Jesus in it or footprints in the sand. An interesting cultural aspect that Schaefer discusses is of how one's culture and society could be seen in the art and should be seen in the art. The music or the sculpture from Japan is going to be recognized as such because the style and technical aspect that make the music or sculpture from the UK different. Schaefer makes some interesting points that are being discussed and debated today. One aspect that I would have liked to have read more on was Schaefer's take on objective beauty. Beauty is discussed here, but I feel like Schaefer would have been able to express a positive case for objective beauty in about six pages, an inflation rate of 120 pages by today's authors. This is a book to pick up and discuss with others. Jesus Christ is Lord of all, even the arts. Christians should have no excuses for making bad art. Final grade, A-minus.